We have Australia's largest range of tyre brands and sizes. Find a cheaper identical tyre locally stocked and we'll beat it. At Bob Jane t -Marts, we'll look after you. It's round five of the FFA Cup and South Melbourne travelled to Paisley Park to take on Altona Magic. It's an opponent we know very, very well, John, although we haven't played them for a few years. That's right, David. Since we returned to the VPL, we've had uh, battles with Altona here at Paisley Park and unfortunately we haven't really had good form here at Paisley Park, so we need to rectify that tonight if we're to progress in the FFA Cup in 2016. Uh, Chris Taylor is not on the bench tonight after receiving a one-match suspension and half the team has changed as well, David, so it'll be interesting to see how we go tonight. Well, there's Hatsi Costas, and uh, he'd certainly like to impress. He's been on the fringe in the senior side this year, getting an opportunity to start tonight, and that might sit for Irwin. He needs to be quick. Keeps it alive for the moment. Irwin's low ball in on the left foot. I think he was trying to catch the keeper unawares there, Loncharic, but uh, gathered up easily in the end. Nice turn by Hatsi Costas. Although he's lost it for the moment, Miller tries to regain it, but it's taken away. Now a chance. Played out wide by Gasparis to Clark. Clark who was at Oakley recently. Clark goes in, looks for the left foot. Clark going in and blocked there. I think in the end it was uh, Luke Adams who got in front of Raganovich and put that one out for a corner. Ball played in quickly. Now Gasparis inside. A chance for Ajay. Ajay with the shot just across the face. I think Raganovich got a shoulder to that and tipped that one wide. If so, that was a very good save, John. He must have made a save, David, because the referee's given a corner here. Ajay played through by Gasparis. Altona with the first great chance to open the scoring tonight. And yeah, you see the ball comes off uh, Raganovich's shoulder there, the left shoulder, and it goes out for a corner. Looking again for Ajay. He's been dangerous already early. He's given trouble to uh, Michael Eager and Timmy Marla. This man always gives trouble. Clark, we know what he can do. Clark takes on Marla, gets around him, puts that one across, not dealt with by Raganovich initially. Ajay with the shot and good save, Raganovich. He parried it initially, it went up to Ajay. The second shot was tipped over a full stretch. Second good chance for Altona to open the scoring. Good work from Clark on this near side. Uh, fires a shot at the near post, which Raganovich spills into the path of Ajay. His resultant shot is on target, but it's tipped over by Raganovich. Marla's throw, trying to go long, trying to play Luic, but can't keep control, surrounded by defenders. Good ball, Hatsi Costa to Kachoyevich. Kachoyevich puts the ball in, might sit up for Schroen, left foot Schroen. He got good control of that one. The height was nice, but just a little too far left. Well, South's uh, first opportunity to open the scoring. It's a half chance here, falling to Marcus Schroen at the edge of the area. Very difficult uh, shot to get in there from that distance, which uh, goes wide of the post. Amadou Karoma. Using Chris Irwin, there's two players tonight who'd love to show Chris Taylor what they're worth, as would that man Kachoyevich. His ball will sit up for Matthew Miller. Miller's shot right foot. Easily dealt with by Loncharic in the end. Better build up by South though. Well, South, they'll have had a stern talking to at halftime. You would think it's Chris Irwin. Was he brought down? No, says the referee. Hatsi Costas plays Mahler and now back to Eager. A bit more attacking attempt early in the South half and that's a lovely switch ball there. It's come from Eager. To Amadou Karoma, Karoma's right foot shot, Amadou Karoma, it was tipped wide uh, by the defender there, so it will be a corner for South Melbourne. Kachoyevich set piece, floats that one up high, in comes Miller, Miller on the right foot and tipped wide, good full stretch save there by Loncharic. It didn't come in all that hard, but it was well placed and well kept out. Another difficult chance for South, Miller helping the ball in from the corner, he's put it on target, irrespective of Gasparis at the back post there was free to tap that out. Corner again from... Kachoyevich not dealt with fully at the moment. Comes straight back, Hatsi Kostas. Nice strike by Hatsi Kostas, but didn't get either side of Loncharic and comfortably dealt with. Lukey Adams opts for the long ball. Nice simple solution, and that one hasn't quite gone out. Amadou Karoma. Now Hatsi Kostas to the run of Chris Irwin. Chris Irwin puts the pace on Irwin. Was he dragged down? The referee's blown. Well, he hasn't pointed at the spot. He's got the yellow card out, but he's not going to Irwin, so it's not simulation. He's gone to... Well, I'm not sure exactly what's happened here. There's a yellow card being produced for the Altona defender. I think and a he, penalty's yes, been given, yes, David. Yes, it is, John. Jo yep, yep, Joseph C.A., right. the defender, bringing down uh, Chris Irwin. A nice ball initially. We'll see here from the replay. A very good ball. Uh, Crossfield ball from Steve Hatsikostas playing Chris Irwin through. Chris Irwin's got the pace there. 
He beats Sia to the ball and he goes into the area and you can see his arms pulled there just as he's unloading to shoot. And uh, the referee has eventually awarded a penalty to South with Marcus Schroen. I think he's going to take this. Yeah, Schroen's lining it up. There was some confusion initially, John, because... Uh, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, John, what's happened here? The lights have gone down. Well, the lights, they haven't gone out fully, John, but we do seem to be down to training lights here. Something's gone wrong in the, uh, in the technical room here at Paisley Park. And the referee, I think, quite rightly deciding that play can't continue. Yeah, the referee will have to halt play here until the lights can be fully restored so the uh, players have taken a break. Maybe an opportunity for Marcus Schroen to practice his penalties before his spot kick is eventually taken. Well, 20 minutes later, he's back on the spot, Marcus Schroen. It's been a long delay. Has that affected the nerves? He steps up. Marcus Schroen, no mistake from Marcus Schroen. Beautifully into the bottom right corner. He picked this spot. He smacked it home past Loncharic. Well done, Marcus Schroen. Holds his nerve nicely and John, it's South Melbourne 1-0. Yeah, obviously Marcus Schroen was practicing his penalties in that delay, David, the 25-minute delay, because he steps up and comfortably puts this past Long Charge. Long Charge goes the right way, but uh, it was, it's right in the corner and you can't really do anything to stop that. So from behind the goal is the best angle of it. Yep, right in the corner. Not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Wonderfully taken penalty from Marcus Schroen and we have the lead here at Paisley Park. Well, Altona, they started brightly. In truth, they were the better side in the first half. They'd be feeling a bit stiff at the moment. If they can hit back, they might be able to force a contest here, but not like that, they won't. Kachoyevich charges forward, he's got Schroen. Kachoyevich doesn't shoot, probably should have gone on the right foot. Tees it up for Schroen, Schroen with the opportunity, keeps his feet. Schroen tries the shot, he's missed everything completely there, but it falls to Milos Lijic and the flag is up and, uh, well, it missed anyway, but it wouldn't stand. A bit of a comedy of errors in the Altona box there, John. Karoma's throw is thumped back with the head and uh, returned acrobatically by Michael Eager. It's gone over the top, chance for Schroen. Schroen went the chip, maybe should have gone low because Loncharic got that big hand up to smack it wide. I think this was going wide anyway, David, but it's a good opportunity missed by South. Uh, Marcus Schroen put through there, should have gone across the keeper and into the far corner instead, tries to chip him. Big Loncharic won't have any of that. The ball was going wide anyway, but he made sure of it and tips it out for a corner. Kachoyevich floats that one, curling in Miller. Matthew Miller, nice positioning, a nice cross, and that would have just about killed off the contest. Opportunity here for Hayne in board. There's Munoz. Jonathan Munoz, very experienced player at state league level. Puts that one out wide. Here's the run of Clark. Gets past Marla. Clark going through. He's brought down, is he? Is he falling for a penalty? The referee, no. He's paid simulation against Clark there. A big call. It would have been a penalty and a chance for 1-1. One, one. A yellow card played against Clark, and that is a big moment in this game, John. Well, I must admit, David, that uh, in real time, I thought that was a penalty against Michael Eager. Ben Clark uh, beating Tim Marla there. And uh, look, you can't really tell the players in the way there. I think it's a penalty, but obviously the referee thinks otherwise and the free kick's been given to South. Kachoyevich, he's been pretty handy on the set pieces and South have been dangerous. That one floated high, Miller, Miller, good save Loncharic, but they can't keep it out the second time. Milos Lujic pounces on it at the far post, taps it across the body of the keeper into the side of the net. 2-0, 77 minutes gone, and you think South Melbourne have it now. Well, it's a bit of a double blow for the Altona Magic, David, because at the other end they probably should have had a penalty. Instead, South go down to their end, and uh, they probably put this game beyond doubt now. Nice uh, header initially from Miller in the corner. Uh, the goalkeeper, Loncharic, saves it, unfortunately, straight into the path of Milos Lujic, and he tucks that uh, past Scott Robson, the defender on the line, and into the far corner. Good save initially, but it falls straight to Lewis's feet. He doesn't even have to move. He just places that across. Scott Robson is scrambling to try and clear it. He can't. It's 2-0 to South. Well, what can the Magic do? There is still time, and they won't do it like that because straight from the kickoff, South intercept. Schroen gives it back to Kachoyevich. Kachoyevich, Irwin's through. Irwin, the shot saved for the moment. But it'll be cleared away, will it? Well, oh dear, oh dear. That was a bit of a tussle there between Schroen and uh, Bozinowski. And uh, it looked like Schroen initially gave the uh, foul away. It's a yellow card to Schroen. But Bozinowski oh. also getting a yellow. And I think you'll find that is his second. And he is off Slave Bozinowski. Well, John, it just doesn't seem necessary because I'm pretty sure the foul was initially paid against Marcus Schroen. Completely unnecessary, David. We look back, though, at the first chance from the kickoff south to getting the ball and going forward. Chris Irwin uh, has his shot blocked by Loncharic. And, and from here, it looks like a, a foul is given to Slave Bozanowski, the Altona captain. But he unnecessarily grabs uh, Marcus Schroen on the way down and he's issued a second yellow card and he's received his marching orders. Kachoyevich making his way to the bench. A positive effort from him tonight. On comes Matthew Fashini to see out the game.
Eager and Hutsi Costas. Hutsi Costas patiently. Nice ball to Miller. And they could get a third to really finish things off here. Plays it in. Out wide, in fact, for Miller. Miller across to Luic. Leaves it for the moment. Chance now. Schroen. Marcus Schroen would have loved his second goal there. It wasn't a bad shot, but just wide of the upright. Another good opportunity here for Marcus Schroen to get another goal tonight. Uh, the ball is only half cleared there to him at the edge of the area. And he goes for the shot with the right foot this time, which goes past the near post and out for a goal kick. A second substitution by South Melbourne. Chris Irwin, a good effort tonight, uh, winning the penalty for the first goal. On comes Iggy Jawadi. That's a good sign for South fans. Eager, a simple ball up the middle, and all of a sudden, defence turns into attack. And Marcus Schroen, he's got one man in front of him, Schroen. Still going, Schroen, squares it up. The ball knocked back in for Miller. Miller for Luic, and there's number three. Protest by a couple of Altona defenders, but I think the ball was actually played back accidentally by an Altona defender. Miller's ball in. Luic from there is never going to miss, and it's game set and match South Melbourne. Yeah, it's another goal uh, for South in junk time to finish this off. Uh, Altona appealing for offside, but you see from, from there the ball across is deflected by Scott Robson, the Altona defender, to Miller, who cuts that back for Luic, who I don't think is offside, and he puts that into the empty net with Long Charich. Scrambling but beaten. You see the deflection initially, like I said, from Robson to Miller, who cuts it in for Lewich, who's unmarked, and it's an easy tap in for him for his second of the night. And to wrap things up, uh, you'd think that 3 0 for South, David. Now, well, Schroen, possibly a fourth coming, but not like that. Altona, very good in the first half. Scoreline doesn't really reflect how even the game was. And Clark, might be time for something in consolation for Altona. Hain. On the turn, Hain. Hain shot. Oh, Jason Hain, an opportunity maybe for some consolation, but nothing doing. Ball played along there, Loncharic. Time ticking away. In fact, time has ticked out and South Melbourne advance in the FFA Cup. They've defeated Altona Magic 3-0. It wasn't all South Melbourne, particularly not in the first half. It came to a big penalty decision midway through the second. From there, South Melbourne never looked back. John, a professional effort, in the, particularly in the last half hour, and South Melbourne a very important win. A very important win and a professional performance, like you said, David. Uh, it was very difficult first half. Altona gave it everything, and in truth, probably the scoreline didn't reflect what actually happened on the pitch tonight. The main thing, though, is we progress through to the sixth round of FFA Cup qualifying. This week's Melbourne City Toyota Player of the Match Award goes to a man who defended hard and created chances going forward. Well done, Amadou Karoma. He lost Leic, two late goals to secure the win. That was uh, quite tight before that penalty, though. Yeah, they actually came out firing first half and uh, we knew that second half they were going to die out a little bit and uh, our fitness played a big part and we came out and did the job second half and, and, and uh, we're through to the next round. Fair to say the uh, break in play wasn't ideal for anyone but we seemed to recover a lot better afterwards. Yeah, well we were on top of them and then uh, the lights went out so it, was, it wasn't very fair for us but um, we came out, credit to the boys and uh, we showed some fight. You know, we're, we know we're a good footballing side and uh, we just need to win that 50-50 battle and um, they wanted a more first half so we just uh, upped our work rate second half and we knew that our, our skill would come through and it did at the end. Oh definitely, it's going to be a tough game coming to Old Tona, you know, obviously their home ground, they're used to the pitch, they play it well and I think uh, the first half obviously they were, they were pumped up and they wanted it more and, and, and it showed. So the second half we came out and rectified the situation. It was just good to get a result um, under you know, tough conditions away. I heard you saying a moment ago that obviously Milos is uh, crucial in this team, he gets all the work done. Uh, really fair to say Milos Lujic is the reason we won tonight? Oh, look, you know, Milos is an important player like everybody else, so I think, you know, it's a collective effort. Um, Milos definitely um, has an easy job up front when everybody's delivering the ball on the plate for him, so we call him, uh, at training, we call him the tap-in king, anyway. It's uh, about the fourth different back four we tried in four games. This time it was you and Lukey again in the middle, but uh, Timmy on the right and Amadou on the left, so a bit of a different combination, and it seemed to work pretty well. Yeah, look, we've uh, this year, with, without a doubt, we, we've got more competition for places uh, than any other year that I've been here. Uh, training's are very competitive and intense, and uh, you know the last few games have been a lot of rotation, but we've kept getting results, and it's the strength of the group and the, and the character of the group um, that you know we've got enough quality and uh, enough smarts that guys will uh, guys will step up and do well. Speaking of which, we were able to rest a couple of key players tonight, which means that Sunday's game against Victory Youth is going to be uh, a chance for them to come in and uh, try and cement those places because uh, they had good performances in their absence. Yeah, look, I don't, uh, I don't envy CT's job at the moment. He's, he's got it pretty tough. Obviously, he had tonight off uh, with Marshall down the sideline, but 
Um, yeah, he's got, he's got some tough decisions to make, but that's why he's coached and that's why he's been successful. So, you know, he makes the right decisions. Uh, we always back them and uh, we just go forward and, uh, and look forward to Sunday's game against Victory. Yeah, they're a good team and it was a tough battle in the first half and we came out in the second half and got in their faces and got on top and that penalty decision was, uh, you know, good. <laughs> The lights going out. It was a bit of a bit of an iffy one, but uh, once we came back out and scored the pen, it was imperative that we stayed on top of them, and we did that. Got another couple of goals, so it was a good win. What was the message from Chris Marshall at halftime, given things hadn't probably gone exactly to plan in the first period? Yeah, I mean, we weren't playing particularly poorly, but we weren't uh, keeping the ball enough. So basically to keep possession a bit more, have confidence in each other, play the ball a bit more, and uh, eventually we'll break them down and get one, which we did.